Hey guys, what's up? It's got stuck here once again. Time for new Let's Play by Tecmo. Project Zero! Oh yes, right. Before I continue, right, let me answer the question that I am going to get constantly if I don't address this. Yes, this is Fatal Frame, right? All over the world, this game is called Fatal Frame, but in Europe, for some stupid, idiotic, inexplicable reason, it's called Project Zero, alright? So yeah. I know I'm still gonna get honours at comments about that, but what are you gonna do? Whatever. But yeah, I felt like doing something alongside Ty, and I've never really done a horror game before, and this is one I really love. One of my favourite PS2 games ever. So yeah, let's just get into it. Take a look in the options. Uh, controls. Uh, let's have a look here, actually. Alright, we'll just keep it default now. It's probably going to take me a little bit of time to get used to, because... Um, from what I know, this game was apparently re-released on Xbox with better controls, because... Ah, cool. Never mind. I think the Xbox version's a bit better. I think. I wonder how long it's been since my brother and I began to see things other people can't see. This is the scariest game I've ever played, by the way. Did I mention that? My big brother. He was so sweet and kind. He was the only one I could open up to about these visions. After our mother died, he was my only family. Hmm. I see monologuing. Okay. So this is. Oh my God! It's a dude. Project Zero. I'm gonna be calling it Let's Play Project Zero, even though I know it's Fatal Frame. Okay. If you comment about it, you're stupid. in search of someone. Junsei Takamine, a famous novelist, and a man my brother was very indebted to, disappeared while researching a book. When he told me that he got a lead on Mr. Takamine's whereabouts, I felt uneasy, like he was going far away. Jesus, this is gonna be good. Haven't played this game in ages, and I do mean ages. Right, monologue. The forbidden rituals of this area. It looks like Mr. Takamine was doing research into them. I wonder if his group is still here. I wonder indeed. Right. Now you can see the bottom there, we've got a camera. If I press circle, I can like go into first person view mode. Great analog stick to move about, all that jazz, we can do a 180. Now, you'll see that like blue light at the top there, and when we're walking about, it's sort of at the bottom right. When that gl it'll glow one of two colours. When it glows orange, a dangerous, you know, live sort of ghost is around. If it glows blue, a hint is available, sort of thing. But in this case, it's an optional photograph that you can take. So if we just look about, the ring around the uh, camera should... Uh, Shoot at ah, there we go. Come on. There we go. Child behind. Right. That's just like a side quest of optional photographs that you can do. You know, you can find every photograph in the game. You can play for it multiple times, you know. I actually did get one hundred percent in this game. 
I sort of got it at the time where you, you kind of wanted to do that with every game you had, you know. Camera controls. I know all this. Right. right see, and this is going to be one of those LPs, one of those really bad to watch LPs where I say I've played it so, so much, and I assure you I have, but I haven't played it in so long that I may be lost at times in that, you know. So you'll have to bear with me, I'm sorry. But I don't mind cutting ahead. Right, an odd camera here, I think I can take a shot. This is basically the save point, aye. Right here you can save photos that you would want to keep for some odd reason. You can save, obviously. In fact, let's check I have a... Let's check I have space in this memory card. I should still have my file. No, I think I maybe deleted it, actually. No, I, I didn't delete it, did I? Please tell me I didn't. Because that was 100 fucking percent I had in that memory card, but eh, we'll just save on this one the new anyway. Okay, save successful. And also, uh, you can see that film there that's uh, highlighted. If you're low on film, you can come at these save points for more because it does a. Uh, uh, act as your ammo, you know, and uh, if you run out of film, you're basically fucked. So in that regard, you've got an unlimited supply. <gasps> Ghost! No, 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 he got behind the rope. Take it again. There we go. <laughs> rope hallway, man. Yeah, unlike the picture I took back there, uh, there's also, like, you can see ghosts wandering around the mansion. And uh, and you can take them if you can to complete your ghost list 100%. You know, it's completely optional. And you don't really get anything for doing it, to be honest. But it's just a nifty little side quest you can do, you know. I think we're going to come up to another one in a minute. Oh crap. There we go. Yeah, things can uh, get in the way of your shot, you know, and it can be pretty and aggravating when you can't get something right. Now, I was playing this earlier, right? The light is shining blue, as you can see, but I can't find where this picture is. I appear to have forgotten. Uh, I really don't know where it is. I think it has something to do with the grandfather clock, but I don't know. Either way, I'm really not sure, but whatever. Let's just go up these stairs. Yay. Stairs. Just like any survival horror game. Right, and obviously we got to pick that up, but we're not going to bother right now, because I want to see what's over here. It's been a while, remember? <laughs> um, I don't know what this said. Right, stairs. Uh, the stairs are out, apparently. Okay. Alright, let's pick up this glowing thing. This notebook. It's Mr. Takamine's. God, you'll be seeing a lot of that image, I assure you. That was Mr. Takamine, so he did come here. Oh, God. This is seriously shit your pants scary, this is. <laughs> what was that? 
Oh god. Right, and he conveniently took a picture and realizes that it does damage to the souls. Right, so here's our first battle, if you will. Okay. Right, you want to take the picture when the circle glows orange. Because if you do when it glows blue, it'll do bugger all damage. And that little thing at the bottom, you want to wait for that to charge up. Let me show you again, there's six of them down there now. It'll charge up as you'll see in a minute. The longer you keep the ghost in the shot, the longer it'll charge up for. Also, if you have the crosshairs of the camera directly over the circle, then uh, it'll do more damage as well. And also, if you attack just before the ghost attacks you, it'll do more damage as well. So there's a lot number of other number of really different strategies you can take when uh, fighting ghosts, you know. <laughs> 